In this video, we have a beaker full of solid carbon dioxide that I bought from the local supermarket. And I've left it in here for about 20 minutes. And the block of carbon dioxide is about maybe a half its original size. So this beaker is definitely full of CO2. And I put a, like a foil top on it so the air wouldn't get in and CO2 would get out. So it's always under positive pressure. So pretty much we can be assured that there's CO2 in there. So what the first thing I'm going to do is uh, strike a match and see how the, the uh, CO2 gas extinguishes the match. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so I have a match here and a matchbox there. And what I'm going to do is strike this match and briefly put it in there and see what happens. And as you can see, it goes right out immediately. Now we're going to do the same thing with magnesium ribbon. I have some magnesium ribbon here that I recently purchased and haven't even opened the bag yet. So what I'm going to do is light this with a, with a butane torch and then dip this into the CO2 atmosphere in that beaker to see what happens. Okay, here goes. We're going to light it. There it goes, and now we're going to put it in the CO2, so let's go ahead and do that. Much, much brighter, much more active in the CO2 atmosphere. Okay, I've got that one going pretty good. Now let's stick it in the CO2 and watch what happens. Much brighter with explosive force and a lot of heat. At the end, you can see this black residue that's left from where it burnt. And what this is, is carbon. So basically it's magnesium plus CO2 uh, goes to magnesium oxide, MgO, plus carbon. So uh, this, that black stuff there is the carbon that's generated from the reaction. So as you can see, C uh, magnesium burns a whole lot better in CO2 than it does in oxygen. So you have to think twice before putting out a magnesium fire with a fire extinguisher. 